hey good morning everyone my name is vipin kumar and in this episode we are going to troubleshoot 500 internal server error so let's begin in my example i am running a microservices asp.net 4.6.2 web application i am running three container this container is for asp.net 4.6.2 framework and other two containers for the ms sql services in this application architecture application is hosted on iis and .net framework 4.6.2 and application is connecting to ms sql database on two containers our web application is listening on port 80 of host ip address so let's try to access this application on browser the application is throwing 500 internal server error on the browser so let's troubleshoot this error let's look at the logs of all three containers there is no error warning logs for this container let's look at the sql container looks like that sql container is working fine sql database successfully attached and uh, started let's look at the last container this container looks clean also so what is next steps let's try to connect the web container so i'm connecting or login on web container okay i am inside in the web container since this application using iis web server so let's verify the iis web services on this container windows process activation service and www publishing service is running on the container so we can say required service is running and up next we require to verify the status of website we can verify the default website is up and online on this container let's verify the physical path of this website looks like that the content of the application are located on correct location what next let's verify the application pool of this application by using this command we can check the status of each application pool and we can verify that all application pool is up and running on this container next we require to check the event logs on this machine this command list down all the event logs on this container and we are more interested look at the application and system event logs let's look at the top 15 system event logs on this container it doesn't show any relative information to troubleshoot 500 internal server error let's look at the application event logs application event logs are clean and doesn't give any clue for 500 internal server error so what is the next so how we can troubleshoot the 500 internal server error on application we require to look at one more location that is iis log for the application so this is the path of iis logs for the application so let's grab the last 10 lines of the logs file haha uh -huh. is logs recorded 500 internal server error but it is not giving the direct indication why this application encountered 500 internal server error but that's okay at least it give us a hint of 500 internal server error it is giving a useful information this is the 500 error and 19 is a sub error of 500 so let's look at the definition of 500 and 19 
sub error on Google. This blog explained error 500.19 in detail. You can read the complete blog about this error. The coach of this error message is misconfigured or duplicate value in web.config file. IS manager couldn't able to load this config file for the application. That's why IIS is throwing 500 error for this application. So let's scan the web.config file of this application. This is the web.config file of this project and I scanned and found that a duplicate value custom error mode equal to off. Let's remove the duplicate value and redeploy the web.config file on the project and run the container once again. I hope you are aware you can easily down your complete environment by using docker compose. Let's down all the containers. It is done. Let's remove all the containers. Let's remove the image. Now we are ready to launch the container for the application with the modify web.config file. Okay, our environment is up and online. Let's try to run the application on the browser. Great, 500 internal server error has been fixed and now this application is throwing some database connectivity issue. We will troubleshoot this error message in next video. I hope you get some basic insight how to troubleshoot 500 internal server error on IIS container. For now, that's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.